name. What do you want to do tonight? The same thing we do every night, Pinky. Try to take over the world. How the Universe Delivers Our Manifestations The Law of Attraction states that you manifest anything you give enough focus to. By giving your attention to a thought, you activate that thought's vibration and the Law of Attraction will cause more vibrations like it to be drawn to it. Once enough energy is gathered, the vibration becomes physical. But what does that look like in the practical sense? If I think about a million dollars with laser-like focus, will I just wake up one morning and find a huge pile of cash in bed next to me? Well, no. That's not usually how it works. Manifestations don't just tend to drop out of the sky. We simply don't really believe that they can. The universe brings us our manifestations through the path of least resistance. That doesn't necessarily mean what we think it does, though. The path of least resistance isn't what is easiest for the universe. There are no limits on that end. The possibilities are infinite. It's what's easiest for you to allow. That's why negative beliefs have the ability to block your manifestations. They vibrate at a different, often opposite frequency to what you want and basically shut down avenues in which you could receive those items. In order to manifest something, we have to give it enough focus to bring it into the physical and we have to ensure there are no contradictory or opposite beliefs blocking it. So if you want a million dollars, not only do you have to spend some time thinking wonderful positive thoughts about the money, but you also have to ensure that you don't harbor any beliefs such as, I'm always going to be poor, rich people are immoral, or it's impossible for me to earn a million dollars, etc. So let's say you harbor no contradictory beliefs to having a million dollars. You think money is great, it's absolutely possible for you to receive a million dollars in some way, and it doesn't even really feel like a big deal to you. How will the universe deliver this manifestation? We've already concluded that it's not just going to drop out of the sky. The universe delivers manifestations in the form of insights, hunches, and coincidences. It brings you together with just the right people at just the right time. It may orchestrate a delay in traffic, ensuring a chance meeting in the elevator with the owner of your company, whom you'll get in a seemingly innocent conversation with, during which you'll just happen to pitch your idea for a new product. He loves the idea, puts you in charge of the new division created to build and distribute the product, and one year later, you get a bonus check for one million dollars. Or you may have a strong, almost overwhelming hunch to go and buy a lottery ticket, even though you never, ever buy lottery tickets. But this one day, for some reason, you really think you should. And just this one time, you buy one. And it's a winner. Notice how this entire process depends on you listening to your intuition and hunches. In the elevator, when you met the owner of your company, you had the hunch to tell him about your idea. By following that impulse, you change the entire course of your life. But what happens if you don't listen? If you freeze up and let fear keep you from having this conversation? Well, nothing. The owner never hears your idea, and you've missed a chance at a million dollars, except you don't even know it. The process of deliberately receiving the life you want depends on your ability to pay attention to the signs the universe is giving you. It's not so much about thinking your way through life as feeling your way through it. If something feels right, pay attention. This is something you'll probably want to do, even if you can't logically justify your actions. If something feels wrong, be careful. Even if it looks good on paper, your intuition is giving you a message. The more you pay attention to how you feel about things, the more you practice listening to your intuition and noticing coincidences, the better you'll get at this. After you notice a few times that following your intuition, even if it defied rational thinking a bit, led to the perfect outcome, something you couldn't have orchestrated in a million years, you'll become more confident in your ability to follow your hunches. I'm not asking you to completely turn off your rational mind, but consider your feelings as equally valid, if not more so, input in your decision-making process, especially if the risk of following your intuition is low. 
Try it for yourself. You might well just be amazed at where these heretofore unseen opportunities lead you.